In today's video, we'll be looking at five new things that are added to Laravel version 9.32.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this sorter syntax in order to pass the props to a component. Before we could do it like this, but if they have the same name, you can see a user ID and user ID like this, then we can pass it like this. Here I have a user first, okay? I'm just getting the user over here and passing that user on the welcome.blade.php and I'm showing that user detail like this. And inside the user detail i have just shown the name and email so let me go here and refresh then you can see here name and email over here this was the traditional way of passing the props to a component but now instead of doing this we can just do here dollar like this and then it will be automatically converted to our previous format now if i come here and refresh then it will work the same way basically this must be a kebab case and this must be a camel case then we can write it like this now before moving to the next thing i would like you to introduce to this video sponsor which is honey Badger. it is obvious that we run into some errors everyone's code will have some errors even if the code is written by amazing developers like my viewers in such case honey Badger can be your best friend. Honeyvazor allows you to monitor those errors, uptime, check-ins, and deployments in real time with easy to use interface. With that you'll be able to know what happened immediately when your customers encounter those errors whenever they are using your application or website. Then you'll be notified via email, SMS, Slack, and many more immediately. You can easily install Honeybazer in minutes and when something goes wrong in your application, you can go to your dashboard and see full detail of the errors which will help you to solve the issue much more faster. And thanks to Honeybazer for sponsoring this video. Honeybazer has both free and paid version and you can check the link in the description and be a DevOps hero in minutes by using Honeybazer. Now let us move to the second thing and the second thing that has been added is this source file name whenever we do dd. Let me show you that over here. So I'm in the home page and let me go here in the home controller. Let me do a dd over here like this okay. Whenever we visit this page it will dd that user. Then if I come here and refresh now you will be able to see this home controller and line 20. It will show exact place where that DD was used. This one is very useful feature guys because sometimes whenever we do DD then we forget where we did that. So this is my best feature now. Now let's move to the third thing which is this new methods added to this request object this integer and float. So here you can see here I am just doing price 1000 and now here let me just uncomment this one and you can see here price is integer and float we have these two methods now and even if it is a string it will convert that string into integer and here it will convert that value to the float so here if i refresh then you can see here 1000 as integer and 1000 as a float now let us move to the fourth thing which is some new methods that are added to the stringable class and you can see here these methods over here let me show you those here like this so before if we wanted to convert this into this integer then we had to write here let's say intval like this and again wrap it like this here like this we had to do it like this but now we don't have to do it if you see here inside it will actually just wrap it inside the interval and return the integer value similarly there is two float two boolean and two date and let me just come here and refresh then you can see here integer float boolean and this date and suppose you passed here random date then it will not be able to pass it it will throw an error which will actually look like this now the fifth and the final thing that has been added is this enum route binding and it is very simple so i'll just show you over here before we were not able to pass a default value on an optional route parameter now we can do that if we do here like this then we can pass here enum in a function itself